Hi, I'm Tom Rubel, Executive Director of the Morgan Arts Council, and welcome to State of the Art. Today, I'm visiting with Patty Ray Avalon. Patty is the curator of our current show, which is called Micro Macro. Welcome, Patty. Thanks, Tom. Nice to be here. Uh, micro Macro is pretty broad, mm -hmm. so uh, can you sort of give me the 40,000 foot level and we'll work our way in from there. Uh, the theme of the show is... It is Micro Macro, and um, it, it came about a little bit later. Once I was invited to actually show here and then to curate the show, I had to think of a title, of course, and what the theme would be. And there were a few artists in my area. So I live in a place called Nelson County, Virginia, mm -hmm. and we're nestled in the foothills of the Blue Ridge. And there are a number of really, really talented artists in that area. And over the years, I kept my radar up and my eyes open and being an artist, just seeing who I resonated with, who I respected, um, who I even drew some inspiration from. Mm -hmm. And the two artists that are now in this show were two people that I remembered when I was thinking about all that. One artist is Kevin Crow, and he's a potter. And I'll just tell you how I met these two people sure. and how the title came about. Yeah. About five years ago, there was a community showing of a new film that had come out. And it was a documentary about Kevin Crow. And it was called Out of the Fire. And someone did a beautiful job of just depicting his life as a dedicated artist, a dedicated potter, mm -hmm. and this pottery that he built on his land, how his family was supporting him and he was supporting them with this vision of his art. And then he also went out and taught people. So he teaches classes there. And when I saw that film, I went, wow, that's a real special person in this community. Yeah. And so that's how I found out about Kevin. And then uh, several years after that, I became aware of Amanda Smith, and she's an encaustic artist, a uh, really uh, talented, vivacious person, yeah. uh, full of life force. And she had a show not far from where I lived in a, um, a little place called Ebb and Flow. Mm -hmm. It's a gallery gift shop. And I walked in and I saw this fluid encaustic work and I went, I'd like to paint like this. Yeah. That's how inspiring it was. Yeah. So I remembered those two people as kind of the top artists in my mind in, in our county. And so I have been a painter all my life, and I started uh, recently painting deep space paintings. Mm -hmm. So I take a lot of images from Hubble, um, the other great telescopes, um, digital telescopes, and I was mesmerized by the views that we can now get in deep space. And I said, it's time to start painting that. Yeah. So actually, I started with a commission, and there were two commissions that came almost at the same time. Really? Someone saying, hey, can you paint the Milky Way for me? Can you paint this painting of two galaxies called the, uh, what would you call them? Cosmic Couple, because mm -hmm. they were two crashing galaxies. And this gentleman had lost his wife, and he, it reminded him of this thing. And I said, well, I don't know if I can do any service to painting deep space, because it's so beautiful. Yeah. But it's so inspiring, I'm going to try it. And I did, and I loved doing it. I loved painting space. So, um, remembering that this beautiful work that Amanda had done with the fluidity. So I'm painting deep space going, my brush strokes are actually very fluid and they're about movement and they're, there's a micro view that's available in deep space. Mm -hmm. So I'd look at my paintings and I'd look at the brush strokes and as if I took a microscope and put it on there and I started doing these abstracts which were about movement and fluidity, close-ups, if you will, right. of deep space. Right. So when I read Amanda's uh, artist statement on her website, she had talked about her passion for water, uh, for the land, for nature, and she used the term micro-macro. Mm -hmm. I went, that's it. Because Kevin, as a potter, does uh, pieces that are small tea bowls right. all the way up to vases that are 36 inches tall. So you talk about micro macro, <laughs> yeah. you know, that's uh, important in his work as well. So it all ties in together now, and that's how the, the title came about. Um, have you curated before? No. How's it going? I'm what, loving it. What are, you, what are you learning about? it? Because you had this concept uh, that you've clearly thought through 
uh, the micro macro concept is the show coming together sort of a, are you feeling it as you're putting it together surprisingly it is uh, coming together so well for me in my mind mm -hmm. because you know these were just little pieces that I thought about or the elements or the, the designs of the pieces and then when you put them all in one space it was like oh my gosh this really does have a theme that maybe unconsciously I even was picking up on yeah and to see it all being revealed in one space is really delightful. And I remember in, in thinking about interior design, mm -hmm. I used to work with a lot of designers in Washington, D.C. because I was a muralist uh -huh. up in Alexandria for about 25 years. So I worked with top designers. And someone just said, if you just buy what you love and put it in your house, it's all going to work. And so I remembered, yeah, I loved Kevin's work. I loved Amanda's work. And I love my work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so it's all <laughs> coming good. together. You know, it's like the big design is working. I know that a lot of people who watch uh, our, sh our little program uh, are, have a background in art. But can you talk a little bit about encaustic? Because that's, I'm, I'm not sure everyone's familiar with it. Yes, encaustic is a, a hot wax process. So as far as I know, most of it is done on flat surfaces. Now, Amanda does it on panels. Mm -hmm. um, she also does it on paper. So she does monoprints with this wax. Yeah. So it's very fragile initially, but um, I've seen her studio and what she does is heats up vats of wax and I'm not sure what the components are. There may be some hardeners in there, but they're pigments. Right. And then she'll blend the liquid wax together and make these beautiful patterns and then it dries. And I think she might even polish it with a heat gun. So there's a, a lot of work involved wow. in creating those surfaces. Yeah. And she's also been taking gold leaf and putting it around some of the paintings now. So when the light hits the painting, or not paintings, the, the encaustic, there's a glow on the back wall that looks like it's just glowing. Oh, nice. Yeah. That would give you a, sort of a cosmic feel, I would assume, <laughs> oh my right? Gosh. I mean, in terms of color, is there a lot of variation between the three of you and your use of color, or are you find in, in what you're doing, do you see similar colors? Well, I think. A lot of Amanda's themes are a lot about water, mm -hmm. maybe even sky elements to a degree, but Sediment was the title of one of her last shows. Mm -hmm. So it is about earth yep. and about bits, little bits and things. My work, the abstract work, is uh, very subtle. The deep space work is pretty vibrant yeah. and more intense. And I think Kevin probably has a palette that are more earth tones. So, but when I look in the space, I think it's coming together really nicely. Well, yeah, I would imagine that gives you a sense of your view from the terra firma to the cosmos and, and sort of having, having the experience of both. And that's another element of the micro-macro with Kevin using earth, real mm -hmm. pottery earth, and we have celestial landscapes. Yep. There it is. I think it's really a delightful thing to do. Everybody's been so supportive at the gallery, a lot of people helping. So we're very excited about the show, thrilled to have you curating it. We are looking forward to a good run. I hope a lot of people will come in and experience the cosmos, experience the terra firma, and this really, really beautiful <laughs> show. So uh, with that, thanks, thanks again, mm -hmm. and uh, thank you for watching. We hope you'll come into the Ice House here over the next few weeks, and get a good warm feel for uh, what we've put together here in Micro Macro. Until next time, I'm Tom Rubel, and we'll see you then.